Welcome again, it's Liu Kenya. I'm right now, I'm in Mwanza, Tanzania. It is a rock city that has totally blown my mind. I found this hidden gem, it's Rocky Bay campsite. Out of sheer luck, after we had looked for accommodation for so long. By the way, if you're coming to Mwanza, ensure you make your booking in advance to all, any other accommodation you come to because people come from nowhere and they just fill all the hotels, all the Airbnbs, and most of the apartments are not in their Airbnbs, so book in advance. So guys, this is a hidden gem. And when I say a hidden gem, I really mean every word of, every word of it. So let's get in. Before you come also, ensure you make a call so that you can make a reservation because from Mwanza town, it will take you quite a distance. It is like you'll have to take a ferry and trust me, you might really wait for the ferry. I, I assure you might really wait for the ferry for maybe 30, 40 minutes and then it will take like 20 minutes with the ferry and then you it's like 10 minutes. After you cross the ferry, it's 10 minutes. But it's quite some distance. I would say give it an hour or an hour and a half for you to get here from the town. You can see pal over there and then look. These are the kind of houses that are here. I can't wait to show you guys. It has very, very beautiful manicured lawns. Okay, the staff are very very kind and receptive look at this guys look at these beautiful houses each of this room accommodates a couple two people so they have queen size beds but i'll take you in but first let's check out the loans plenty of them this round shape the cylindrical actually the semi-cylindrical ones the ones i've counted so far around six and guys did i say well man manicured loans look at this very neat very beautiful and then there are these palm trees that just make this whole pavement look so so beautiful so these cylindrical houses semi-cylindrical houses they face the garden but there are some houses that face the lake. Now let's get to one of them. <laughs> so let's get to one of these. Welcome. It is a space for two people. Now, let me tell you guys, I've slept here, not in this particular room, but in one of the, one other one. Very comfortable, I assure you, very comfortable. It's not like hot or cold because there is air conditioning. Highlight of this place, by the way, is the fact that all these houses are all wooden inside and out. Uh, apart from having the iron sheet on the outside, the inside is very, very serene. It's very comfortable. It is there in suite. You have the bathroom there, the toilet here. They provide very clean white towels. This place is very, very clean. I assure you, you can just walk on your bare feet very clean and comfortable they do not provide a place to cook because they have a restaurant in fact you are not allowed to bring any food or drinks from outside you have seen how beautiful this place is and it is it is a hundred thousand tanzanian shillings depending on the exchange rate you can do that conversion so this is how one of those cylindrical houses look one and eight one and eight one eighty yes. Oh yes, we have, they have different shapes. There is this A-frame. If you ever wish to stay in an A-frame apartment, here we go. <laughs> you can see it is A, A because of the shape, A-frame. So this one is a family room. That one is for double, like two people, but this one is a family room. It can accommodate up to, up to four people. There are two single beds. And I told you guys, it's all wooden. As you can see, it is all wooden and very comfortable. So, this is where if you have maybe two friends or two kids, they can play here. They can sleep here rather. And then, this is the master. I think this one is a queen size bed. Yes. And it's equally comfortable. And then it has the view. This view of the rocks. By the way, this is a very... It is, there is a reason why Monza is called a, a rocky city you can see all these rocks out here now each of these rooms has these insect screens 
being next to the lake we expect that there are so many bugs around mosquitoes and other bugs so these ones prevent the bugs from getting into the rooms and they also have air conditioning whichever temperature you like when it gets hot you can cool it up you can cool up the room and when it gets cold in the evening you can warm it up now this is the toilet yeah the toilet is here and then the bathroom is here and by the way guys water here is hot travelers like me love hot water <laughs> so that makes it very very comfortable so i think this is a space where you can just have stories with your friends and all that like this it is very similar to the apart to the house that is stayed in you stayed in a family house but it is the one that is right next to the to the lake of course we live for the views and their staff are very kind you've seen <laughs> so this Okay, this uh, this space is worth 180 Tanzanian shillings, right? Yeah. Yes, 180 Tanzanian shillings. If you don't mind staying in one room like us, it's cheaper than having two of those, the cylindrical ones. It is 180,000 Tanzanian shillings. You can do your uh, calculation depending on your currency. Guys, it's not expensive. For a beautiful night, a quiet night, you can even have room service. They can bring the food all the way. They have restaurants, by the way, and a beautiful bar by the lake. Guys, we slept in paradise, literally. Now, look at this. Even before we get in, this is Lake, lake Victoria. And you can see some fishermen over there. There is a pier that you can, you can go up to there and say hi to the fishermen. <laughs> so, we are staying in an A-frame house. Our room begins with these beautiful ladies. Oh. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, the, first of all, out here there is this huge veranda. Very huge one. And there are a lot of these outdoor seats. You can sit here and enjoy the ambience, enjoy the breeze, enjoy the nature. And when you get in, now this is where the beauty begins. Ta-da! Yes, we slept here. So there is this king-size bed, very comfortable. I know you guys don't believe that we slept here, but we just made it so that we may look neat. <laughs> so there is this huge bed here. It is very, very comfortable and warm. And there is, next here, there is a table for beverage if you want hot some hot black tea or some coffee you are sorted yesterday in the evening here is where we had our meal we wanted to do it outside but being next to the lake we were worried that we'd be bitten by mosquitoes but they provide mosquito repellents by the way so there is this outdoor seat they are foldable you see so we made a circle here and then we we're playing games now also there is also uh, air conditioning don't worry it won't get cold or too hot next is a huge bathroom there is this this is the bathroom you can see this is the bathroom it has very very hot water very hot water they provide towels and then on this other side let me just look at myself in the mirror I have to confirm this outlook eh? <laughs> so there is this side of the toilet and extra towel extra towels they provide towels for everyone so as you can see there is this mesh so that insects cannot get in so do not worry if you're afraid of bugs so you know we are four of us two people slept here the other group you can see there are two single beds very comfortable being up here you, you have a very beautiful view of the rocks look at these guys I told you Mwanza is a rock city. Even right here, there are plenty of rocks to look at. And a very, very beautiful view. And then you can also, from here, you can also see the lake. From that window there. Just look at this place from up here. Oh my God. This room is just magnificent. Now, I'm getting ideas. <laughs> eh? I've always wanted such a tiny beautiful space for myself or for business and i'm getting really good ideas i'm not complaining i should travel more maybe i might change my mind this is what i've always wanted 
and thank God I've come to see it like in real life. It's just a dream come true. So guys, how do you like the place? It's beautiful and you have not seen the outside. Let's check out the entire space. Enjoy the view. This place is well conserved, I must say. They retain the beauty of the nature and they also retain their norms. And this is very, very good. Look at this. This is where we are going to have our breakfast. And as usual, they have to build their houses considering the nature look at this stone it has been made as if it is part of the building no one really cuts them off all those prizes are inclusive of breakfast but if you want dinner you'll have to order at your own cost there are two swimming pools but i prefer this one because this one is warmer there's another one by the lake and it's uh, because of the breeze it's very cold but here you can see I've realized that people around here just do their own filtration of water. Purification is done here, so they just get water from the lake and then they recycle it. So after you swim, you can enjoy this. <sighs> Sun baking. Karibisha hivi lazima jikoni yenu ni safi sana. Ah let's check out the kitchen. Haya, hii place for barbecue. Barbecue. Ah this is where we got our pork chops yesterday. Ah our chef here has invited us. This is chapati. This pizza. Pizza. Yes. Organized kitchen. It's not easy for anyone to invite you into their kitchen. This means they have very clean food and they're legit. You can see the entire space. So you prepare the, the dough and then you make pizza later. Yes. So what's that window for your bar? Ah, okay. similar carnival. I was in Kenya. The carnival was in Nairobi, but the carnival is different. They are doing gravy open here. So the process, as if you are putting that down and you close, but the cannibals are doing live. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you bring the cannibal? So you're most welcome. You <laughs> Thank are, you. Can, you are a small cannibal. <laughs> you're going to get enormous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shangwe, 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, this bar is built on rocks. You can see? It's built on rocks. Yeah. In Mwanza, there is a problem with electricity. They have a lot of blackouts. So this, most of these places, they have backup plan. There is solar and they also have generator. Because I'm told there are a lot of power surges and which cause blackouts. So guys, when you come, Expect that at some point you lose the solar, at some point you lose the... Okay, you won't even notice the difference. So, this is the bar. You just sit here as you talk to your friends. Even if you're not friends, you get someone to talk to because they're facing each other. You get? Huh? This is now the bar. Then here is where the barista and the barman do their thing. Now, what is a bar without a pool? A pool table. Signatures here from people who've been here. This must, this must be travelers. <laughs> travelers and backpackers. Ah, people from UK. Ah, memories, memories. Mm -hmm. How do you control this? Thank you for our first proper bed since Ethiopia. Ah, I told you this, this is for travelers. Great place, great stuff, very relaxing. See you again one day. Oh, that is cute. I'm, I'm tempted to sign on the wall as well. <laughs> so that it can be remembered that I was here. You can actually do your wedding here. 
you can see they have a very big space for celebration you can do your wedding here there goes the second pool so if you like it cold i think that is the place you should go to this place is so well maintained it looks like it's those grass carpets you know it's just too well maintained there are plenty of places to relax you can sit here enjoy the view of the lake enjoy the view of the garden and the rocks you see there's, there's a trampoline there for kids okay and adults like me who love trampoline <laughs> So you're catered for and right next is the pool that is the pool i was talking about it is it is next to the lake so it's because of a lot of breeze it tends to be a bit cold so cleaning has to be done all the time because of the bugs being next to the lake there are plenty of bugs that fly into the water this is why you see the water that gets into the lake from the lake it just gets in there get purified there in that machine over there and then it gets into the swimming pool so it is just as good as swimming in the lake but now this time this water is purified and then they'll recycle the water back and that way they conserve the environment that is just the best thing ever you will think that this place is just a marshy place but if you try to step on it i assure you will sink because this is just hyacinth and this place is pretty deep I believe they are trampoline for, for adults. I don't know if this one is meant for adults or kids only, but I'm one of those kids who never grow. So guys, there is this pier. You can walk all the way to the farthest end to have a very beautiful view of the sunrise. There is a very beautiful sunrise here, guys. Now the sun rises from this side and it sets from this side. So this place is best for sunrises. We overslept. <laughs> and we couldn't show you this, but this is where you get your sunrise. <sighs> so peaceful, so so peaceful. Just close to nature and close to fishermen. <laughs> Look at this view. There goes other airframes. Those are airframes. There is another one there. So we slept in one of those airframes over there. Even our luggage are still there, we'll pick it later after breakfast. But we slept there, just imagine the kind of view we had. On the road again this time we are headed to rwanda we are using the rusumu border yes it's rusumu border and it's i've been, I've been told for us to get to kigali it's almost 10 kilo, 10 yeah. hours drive so it's right now it's 11 so we might get there very very late but we are up for the challenge so let's go let's begin already and see how how soon can we get there because probably we'll stay in a hotel somewhere and then tomorrow we'll get an airbnb because we'll get very very late very late and most airbnbs accessing and all that can be a bit hectic so we are, we'll just stay somewhere in town so let's go good morning, morning. Uh -huh. good ten more again how did you like the place it was amazing. so magical you people need to come here rocky baby so unique, so beautiful. You interact with nature in a very magical way. Did you mention how nice their staff are? Very friendly. Oh, very amazing. friendly. Very friendly. Shangwe. I think just Tanzanian people are amazing. Very sweet lady. Yeah. Uh, 
you. Shangwe. Very yeah. beautiful people. Shangwe and who? Imagine there's yeah. someone called Shangwe. Hey, we are used to Shangwe and Vigele. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and she's okay, she's just as bubbly as her name, Shangwe. Yes. Huh? Yes. <laughs> yeah, guys. You need to come here. You get customer service. As in, you just feel like you get value for your money. Customer service is on point. Let me tell you, the food. Ah, We've forgotten the food. Oh, these are fishermen. The food is amazing. Okay, being next to the lake, these are fishermen. I think they have carried some, have some fish. Shkamo. Ekuema kwetu. You don't have to go to those obviously touristic places. Such hidden places can give you the best experience ever. And, and very affordable. Very affordable. Very affordable. Imagine in Kenyan shillings, the room which we stayed in, in Kenyan shillings it's like 9,500 Kenyan shillings. Which 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 is like 180,000 Tanzanian shillings. So let's go to Rwanda. <laughs> Just 
showing you from a distance. made a left turn and I have seen a very beautiful I think this is a church see it has two pillars and a cross on top let's see let's approach it and see what happens around it here like a Catholic. is it really Catholic because I've seen something there that the does it's a Catholic it is also surrounded by a, another estate well, guys this is an entire town I think this is a town it's not a center it is a town because it's too big too many estates yes. beautiful houses I'm not saying centers do not have beautiful houses, but you get my point, right?
Kagera region is mountainous, beautiful, valleys and hills all over and it is very green. And between these hills, by the way, there are farmers who have who have cultivated a lot of crops. They also have very those those cattle with very long horns. It's only that we've been going too fast we did not record any but the same kind of cattle are also I'm told they're also in Rwanda so we'll get a chance to record them. But otherwise it's been meandering, meandering, meandering. The road has been meandering because of the hills and it's been a lot of fun driving. You know, I love meanders and such beautiful scenes. Look at this. Eh? This is just as a, as a result of the construction of the road, but it looks very beautiful. Look at that. There is the road that we use over there. So it's been... It's been a lot of fun driving here. And we crossed so many provinces. We started with Mwanza and then we went to Geita. Geita is where there is a lot of gold. That is why that town is well, is well developed. And then now we, have, we are right now in, in Kagera. And that name Kagera sounds very familiar because as we were googling about Rwanda, I think there is a Kagera. I don't know if it is a forest or something. Is it a forest? It's a national reserve. Yes, it is a national reserve. A Kagera national reserve. So they share a lot of names. This, this side of Tanzania and Rwanda. But we are still on our way. We are past halfway to the border. And we are excited now. We are just here taking photos and reels that are meant to finish you all. Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> and Tanzania has very, very cheap food. Imagine our expenditure for food has, has been the lowest ever as compared to accommodation. So in Tanzania, food, food is plenty and very cheap. that in Tanzania fuel the cost of fuel is relatively standard just a little variation because in Mwanza it was Mwanza and uh, where did you refuel again Mwanza and and, and uh, Sirare at the border Sirare yeah Sirare and Mwanza it was 3061 shillings and here in ba Biharamulo it's 3078 Tanzanian shillings yes so, so if you do a uh, if you do a conversion you realize that there is addition of very few points mm -hmm. it's not like in kenya where if you travel maybe from from mombasa to somewhere like even nairobi you notice there's a big difference up to two shillings yes there, there could be a difference of up to two shillings or as you go further more shillings more coins continue being added to the fuel so i would say that i don't know whether it's inflation that is better here or the subsidies that the government is giving them or if there is any but fuel is relatively cheaper in Tanzania as compared to Kenya so for long distance travelers like us this is just very good news it's like we're in the right place <laughs> so we're filling up our tank so that because we are not sure if we'll get any other petrol station but we've realized that in every center there is a petrol station in every station, in, the, in every center, there is a petrol station. So do not worry if you're a long distance traveler. You just keep adding, 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 adding. I'm tripping, falling, falling for you. I feel it, feel it always you In the days of the way with you in my head, in my head On my mind, feel the way when you say that you're doing fine I say cool, don't be dry, no you're lonely, I'm lonely too So we are approaching Rusumo, I think it's uh, less than 40 kilometers away And as you can see still more hills and meanders but the color of the soil has changed and then there are plenty plenty of um, banana plantations on the road and that is like the staple food for most people in this side of Tanzania Uganda 
Uganda and Rwanda. And the ladies today are awake throughout the journey. <laughs> no one has slept. <laughs> Our snack break as we enjoy the view of these hills surrounding us. How much beauty can you get on the road than this? Yes, the other time I said 40 kilometers and found out that it was 60. Now we are 40 kilometers away from Rusumo, which is the border between Tanzania and Rwanda. Karibu, Rwanda. So we are like two kilometers away and we're excited as usual to get into a new country. Rwanda, here we go. Rwanda, here we go. Woo! Look at this. <laughs> Please, someone tell me this is how beautiful Rwanda is. Look at that hill. Truly, truly, Rwanda is a land of a thousand hills. I'm excited to come to Rwanda. Where? Right from the border, we've started driving on the right. Right from the border. And this is the border. You leave me guessing. You got one foot in and one foot out. You leave me a mess when it's 3 a.m. and I'm guys we've left the border the Rwanda border so far what I can tell you guys the Rwanda border is the easiest to clear anything I would say that within like 30 minutes we were done now the task comes in when you need to get an, an insurance and another sim card eh, that one has taken us like almost an hour and a half it has taken us too long but we thank God we are on our way and it's getting very late. We are already driving on the on the right hand side. <laughs> yeah, we are landing, but apparently once you get to the road, it's pretty easy. Yeah, but the only problem that we'll have is overtaking. We are headed towards Kigali, and we are hoping that we'll get there in good time because we've already booked some place, and our, we've already told our host that we'll get there a bit late. Just know, right now it is exactly one hour behind of Nairobi yes. 
so we are just here oh by the way guys you'll finish with customs and in migration and then you'll tell yourself ah, i'm done you're finished with the process now this is where the, the tree comes in before you leave especially if you have a car before you leave you have to be searched the car will be searched everything you have will be searched everything that is in your bag you'll remove everything my friend so if you have anything hidden there that is illegal in this country you will be caught we've just been each bag each bag of ours has been searched thank god we've left nothing behind hey we are legitimate so we are now to have and guys i don't think i'll be showing you more of the road because it's pretty late and it will take us several hours and we are in a rush so until tomorrow morning i'll let you know what happens in, in the evening but until tomorrow morning guys bye for now and uh, but we'll see each other very early in the morning we got here very late we are in rwanda kigali and we found this place we had booked it yesterday in the evening it's a very 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 beautiful place with the five bedrooms let me give you a brief tour they receive i don't know if how many clients they receive but there is some sort of reception here because they celebrate rwanda it's actually a very very beautiful place so this is the living area which we never got to use because we reached here very late it was around 11 10 11 there we never got to use this place because eh, we were so tired this is where we had our dinner i believe this is um rwandis at this is the kitchen if we wanted to cook we would have we would have cooked here but we are not cooking thank god we managed we told our host to bring us some food so yesterday we just got here and ate now there are so many bedrooms i think there are around five so this is one of them when we booked this place we didn't, we didn't know that we are booking the entire space you see and it is also in suite bathroom and the toilet toilet and the bathroom so this is one of those bedrooms there are five so this is bedroom number one let's go to bedroom number two okay this is the common toilet this is quite some part it is black i never got here i'm seeing it for the first time like you guys <laughs> And then the rest of the rooms are upstairs. Look at this view. Very, very beautiful. So once you get up here, there is this lounge area. There are like two of them. You can sit here and enjoy the view of the hills. So the hills are over there. It's in a very, very good neighborhood. And this house is one of the houses in KG. It's called KG 313, 315 Street. Their streets have numbers. This is the other bedroom. It's not in suite. This is where Sharon and Hadia slept. The, the one that Hadia and Sharon slept in was not was not in suite. There is a common bathroom. It's being cleaned, so I will show you guys. These bedrooms are very spacious with enough storage space. This is where I slept. Yes, this is where I slept. It's also a very big bed. Queen, actually king. It's queen size. There is a bathroom and a toilet, it's in suite. And then there is this master. Here is the master. They added that bed because they initially they had very many many guests. They had to add, add that one. It has a tub. Here is the bathroom, it has a tub. And it has a balcony. Someone is cleaning the balcony, so I won't show you guys. Now the big question is how much did, did it cost? And before I tell you how much this place cost, you'll be surprised. Now, there's only one problem with this place. When we came in, I think the guest was not ready for us because it was quite dusty, I would say. And I don't know if the guest has done Airbnb before because he, he told us that the price that we, pay, that we paid on the website for four people was the price for one room, which is not true. If we check on the website, in fact, it's the price for five rooms. So we could have slept here for 30 minutes, going to another room for 30 minutes. I don't know, I really don't know. But 
we had a problem. Before we checked in, we had a problem because we wanted to agree on that. And it was very late, we could not go any other place. If we could, if we could have left, the cost could have been fined up to $100 by Airbnb. But the guys, Airbnb are serious. But we paid around, a total of around 32. We paid a total of around 32 dollars. I know it doesn't make sense. Most of you will say, oh, 32 dollars is, is, is too little for the five rooms, but that is what was put online. So as we were just going by what was online, we actually used only two bedrooms. Now when we got here, the, the host said that 32 dollars is for one bedroom. And it, we could not agree because on the website it's 32 dollars for the five bedrooms. So we could not add a single coin. Now what happened, we had asked him to get us some food. He, give, he didn't give us the receipt. It looks like he overcharged us the food just to compensate for, to compensate for the loss he had, he has, he had gotten for, for not listing the house properly. It was like jollof rice and some beef. He cost us, it cost us like almost a thousand Kenyan shillings. I think it's by far overpriced considering the type of food we actually got. It was overpriced. He didn't give us the receipt. It looks like he pocketed the, the receipt so that he can overcharge us. He's the one who listed it at that rate. What could you have done? That's a steal. But otherwise, the place was a bit dusty. There were plenty of mosquitoes. Guys, if you want that kind of struggle, you book this place. But as for me, we just decided to check out today. We wanted to stay for three more days, but we decided to check out because those kind of complications are what usually bring bad blood between the hosts and the guests. And we are hosts, we know. So this is not good business for us. So we are going to find some breakfast and then we will figure out another place where we can stay for the night. Meanwhile, a friend of ours has come and he'll be, I think he'll be taking us around. And we're excited about Rwanda. We are very much excited. It was very nice driving on the right, but today, guys, I will show you experience of a driver in Rwanda. Yeah? Of, I'm used to driving on the left side, so this time we are going to show you how how different it is driving on the right if your car is on the left, if the driver's side is on the... Oh, sorry. The driver's side in Kenya side is on the right. The car, in the car, I mean, it is a right-hand drive, but the, the road you keep left. But here, our car is, is still the same one in, from Kenya, but we are right driving, we are keeping right. It is quite an experience. I can't help, I can't wait to show you guys, so... Let's go and explore Kigali. photographed by the camera. We did. did. You did? Yes. Twice? Yes. No, no, once. Twice. Once. twice. Did, you, did you pay the, the fine? The one that I showed you. No. Yeah. Nobody stopped oh. us. <laughs> it was a <all> night. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? That's going to be 50 USD. If, the, it's, if it's twice. And if you go more than one day, it's going to be 60. So, how do we know that we have a fine pending? I don't know about uh, foreign cars. Chances are you are gonna get fined on your way out. Okay. Oh my. <laughs> At the border? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and chances are that you are gonna get more of those while you are here. Because there are also hidden cameras, not like the ones you, you saw. Even at night? Yeah, even the car, uh, police cars mm -hmm. that you see stopped up in the streets, mm -hmm. they are just there to check the speed limits. 
how, how is your country divided into parts? Like counties. there is province, districts. Like we have counties. counties. Ah, okay. So we have province, districts, mm -hmm. uh, sectors, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Sali, village. Uh, we also so have we village. do Muganda as village, right? Oh. It's like uh, sixty homes. Sixty homes make up uh, an Umuganda a village. Yeah. A village. a village. So in Kenya it's between 40 to 52. No, in Kenya village. we have Nyumba, Nyumba Kumi, like 10. Yes. Oh, ten right. Nyumba Kumi? Yes, yes, we do. We used to Nyumba have Nyumba Kumis too. Oh, you used to have Nyumba Kumis yeah, too? Yeah, like exactly that name. Thank you guys for watching. If you find this video useful, kindly hit that like button and comment below. So in the coming episodes, we will be exploring Kigali and Rwanda as a whole. I hope you'll join us. Until the next video, guys. Bye!